Everybody's talking at me I don't hear words they're saying Only the echoes of my mind People stop and stare at me This is Coogan Cassius for iFilm London. We're at the Only Fools and Horses convention here in Peterborough. With me, we've got actor Dennis Neal. we played Alan Parry. How are you, sir? That's right. I'm very well, thank you. You look exactly the same. What's going on? Yeah, I know. Um, and somebody else was saying that we don't seem to have aged at all. So there must be something in the water in Peckham, I think, you know, that's um, keeping us all looking really young. <laughs> what was Rodney like as a son-in-law? Useless. <laughs> Absolutely bloody useless. <laughs> Is it someone that you'd want as a son-in-law, like, Certainly in real life? Not. Certainly not, no, I don't think so. I think uh, he'd have to be fairly heavily vetted before he became my son-in-law, I must say. <laughs> um, from all the episodes you've done, what, what ones stick out most for you? Oh, the Jolly Boys outing. That's my very, very favourite. And when we got down to Margate, the word got around, you know, that the Fools and Horses boys were filming there. And the crowds that turned out were absolutely phenomenal. It was like being part of a royal tour, you know, it really was absolutely extraordinary, really amazing. But it was a wonderful show to do, it really was, absolutely wonderful. Who does your wife have a bigger problem with, Del Boy or Rodney? I think given a choice, she'd probably have a bigger problem with Del Boy, I should imagine, you know. I haven't seen her for a while, so... Uh, <laughs> but her boy's doing rather well. Yeah. <laughs> young, young Benedict. <laughs> um, can you, Dennis, can you tell us a little bit about what you've been up to recently or anything we could be looking forward to? Um, yeah, you can... Um, well, I've been touring a lot. I've been uh, working in the theatre for a gentleman called Bill Kenwright, um, touring up and down the country, doing Agatha Christie plays for the most part, but I've finished that in August. Um, but you can see me on Channel 10 in the afternoons doing The Royal, which is being uh, reprised, as it were, you know, for, for television. So, uh, you know, get a, get a look at me then. What praise can you give to, obviously, the departed, late departed John Sullivan now for this, this legacy that he's left behind? Uh, I mean, the, the uh, words fail me, to be honest. I mean, the man has contributed such a great deal to, to, to entertainment in this country. Um, and he's absolutely um, created a classic, which I think will be timeless, you know. Um, I mean, just looking around here, looking at the crowds, I think that's as good a testament and as good a legacy as you could, you could possibly have, you know, and, and it's all come from his pen, and, um, you know, we're all very grateful for that as well, of course. But, um, is, is this the first convention you've come to? Yeah, yeah, up until now. I was a Fools and Horses convention virgin, but uh, <laughs> whew, this is it, just the scale of it is just absolutely overwhelming. It's really extraordinary, really extraordinary. Fancy some jelly deals later. <laughs> I don't think so. I'd rather have me Sunday roast, I think. I don't blame you. <laughs> right, OK. Dennis, thank you very much for talking to wife from London. And Not listen, we'll let you get on with the rest of your day. Not at all. You're very welcome. Thank Cheers. Thank you very Thanks. much. Thank you very much. Everybody's talking at me. I don't hear words they're saying. Only the echoes of my mind. People stop and stare.